Hey, interior designers, construction companies, and contractors. I hope you are doing really good. And today I'm coming up with this new video after a long period of time. It's been a long time I've, but I haven't uploaded any video. So now it's time to upload an updated version of how you can run Facebook ads for your interior design business and generate somewhere between 50 to 500 leads every single month. If you see right now, I'm on this ad account. I don't know if you have experience running Facebook ads by us or yourself or not, but make sure if you watch this video, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate 50 to 500 high quality inquiries with interested clients every single month using Facebook and Instagram ads. A uh, year before I uploaded one video, which was a bit outdated. Most of the strategies are same, but now there are some new things comes up. New strategies comes up, new data comes up from our side. So I will give you the overview about that. So let's get started. So before like starting your Facebook and Instagram ad, don't do post boost and promote option. That's the first thing I would recommend. Focus more on the creative, not on targeting. And third, I will highly recommend you if you work with someone under if someone is working over you and you are working someone someone working with someone that can help you to get better quality leads. So if you want to like work with me, you can subscribe to this channel. You can be the part of my program. But right now I don't want to just directly start and sell you something. I want to first show you how you can do it by your own. Try it out. Then if you need my help, you can join me. Or if you don't even need a help, that's good. All right. So let's get started. I will like just shrink my camera here so let's keep it here so before we get started let me show you like this ad account i was running ads so here you can see in this campaign we have generated 98 freaking leads cost per lead is just 67 so if you want to generate a high quality leads i will give you like really good strategies in this video that you can get a better idea how you can do that if you are doing already might be struggling to get better results then you can be the part of all right, then let's get started. First, you need your Instagram page, Facebook page, create your business manager account, create your Facebook ad account. All these things are very simple. You can Google it, easy to do. Then you have to come to your ad account like this and click on create. That's the first step you need to make. Go to the leads because what we are going to do is we are going to generate leads. Then continue. All right. Here you can name your campaign, whatever you want from the date you are starting, et cetera, et cetera. Here I always recommend to start with a simple campaign. You can just give your name like 03. That's today's date. Demo camp. Write this out. This for now. So here you can see you don't need to touch anything apart from this. If you have a good budget, you can test with multiple ad sets. But if you don't have really good budget, if you have a budget of let's say ten dollars or uh, 100 200 rupees then start with simple campaigns but if you have a good budget then you can create multiple ad set test multiple things and do the same all right then here you can pick whatever your facebook page is here you need to select a lead form and if you use the facebook ad lead form you don't need any landing page or a website to send traffic and then get the leads the technical part will totally going to get removed because here you are using the inbuilt form that facebook gives then here you don't need to touch anything, cost control, nothing, don't worry about that. Budget you need to keep as per yourself. If you have a budget of 500 rupees, keep 500. If you have a budget of 200 rupees, keep 200. Minimum you can start with 100. So let me keep with 1000 rupees of budget. This scenario. Start and date, you can select whatever date you want to start with. And don't select any end date, just select the start date. Then here comes the location part here, you can see. It's very simple, quick video. I'm not going to take much of your time because most of the strategies are very clear. You can pick wherever you are living. Let's say if you are living in Delhi. So you can pick Delhi. If you are living in Mumbai, you can pick Mumbai. If you are operating in multiple locations, then you can pick all those locations. So that's how you can do it. Then go to the age targeting. Just think like create your own customer of that. Who are those person who are interested in taking your service? Homeowners, if you are doing residential interior, who will going to buy the home with the age of minimum 25 and max the age of 55? That's all. You can test it out with different age groups as well. You can start with directly 18 to 65 plus. 
marketing is all about testing you need to test more and more things so here are some detailed targeting you can pick lot there are a lot of targeting options you're gonna find you can pick any of them whatever you recommend like simple targeting option is interior design but this has been used by a lot of people so it's getting more and more competitive so that's what you need to take care of then close this tool to reach beyond people then keep the automatic placement manual placement i have some thing you if you want you can try it out with the manual placement or you can go with the advantage or automatic placements as well now the facebook changed their name that's a like very basic thing not uh, there is no like very scientific method or much technical skills if you implement it properly today where i am here it is it's very easy for me because i've run more than thousands of campaigns for this but if you once you're going to start from a first day it's going to be a bit difficult a bit confusing your mind and your brain will going to like hesitate to do this thing but business only grow when you do the hard work business cannot grow you cannot grow a business doing easy tasks you need to do hard tasks to grow a business then for the ad creative like this is like the by default is coming in you can use like ad creative like let me show you one sample ad creative if you want For an example, let's take this as an ad creative. Simple. Don't just copy and paste it. Trust me, if you're gonna, if you are going to copy and paste each and everything, it will not going to work. Because this video will going to watch by thousands of people. And thousands of people will gonna copy the same thing. It's going to get saturated. Nobody will gonna <laughs> see that. Then here you need to write a primary text. Primary text, you can simply write, hello, Mumbai girls. If you are looking for interior designers who have this much amount of experience, just give them a brief about your company in the primary text. And then here, you should be having your offer. Offer is the key. If you want to have a success with your Facebook and Instagram advertisement, you will not go into success. You will not going to get success only with targeting. You will not going to get success only with ad copy. You will not going to get success only with ad creative. The main key pillar of any advertisement is how strong your offer is. If your offer is not strong, no matter how strong your targeting is, it will not go into work for you. Offer is the key. Offer like there are so many offers you can give them. Don't just go with a simple free consultation, get free code. This offer has been given by 10 different interior designers in their area. Why they should pick you? Come up with something genuine. Come up with something that you really want to help them with their home interior. Don't just come up with simple, basic, get free code, get free consultation. Come up with something new. Try and test new things. Don't just think like you just need to sit and wait. The clients are coming to you. You're not going to work like that. For now, I will just like get your free code. But you need to use your brain, do some market research and get some really good offers for your company that you can pitch. That's all. Now you have you have to create a lead form where whoever going to fill your form going to land on this and you will going to get their data. So here I would recommend you can like remove this part. You don't want just simply add few questions to qualify the lead. Like there are a lot of questions you can ask, but you need to select which are working for you. Like first you can ask them type of project. Let's say type of project which is let's say 2 bhk and then 3 bhk 4 bhk is it commercial so that's how like you can properly work on this then you can add some more questions like what is their budget what is their location what is their area and how soon they want to get started do they have their position or not there are a lot of questions you can ask but what i recommend is asking max five questions like name email address phone number these three basic questions two to three extra questions that's all you don't blast them with lots of questions because if you're going to do that you're going to lose them but ask them very simple questions that they can answer very easily if they have a genuine requirement if you're going to tell them write a short note of 100 words about your project who the fuck gonna take who the fuck gonna write that nobody gonna write 100 words for you if they don't know you they don't have that much amount of time so just use your brain have some patience and use a basic human psychology how the human works 
Then you can write them here, please fill the details. And our team will contact you here. You can add your phone number also. So that's a simple form. Here, privacy policy, I will call now. For an example, I will write google.com tnc. Here you can write, put your privacy policy page of a website. If you don't have a website, I would highly recommend to have one. Then you don't need to go with custom disclaimer that here. You can send them to your website. You can let them to call you, whatever you think. For now, and just publish it. The form is published. So what will going to happen? Whoever going to see this ad, going to click on this sign up option. Yeah, here, you can change this also. Want you can go with get offer, get code. There are a lot of things. If you are running any ebook ad, like you can give them free download, something like that. That works really good. If you want to get right up. Then whenever someone going to click on this call to action button, let's say get offer, right now it's get download that they're going to answer all these questions. So whenever they are going to answer all these questions, you will going to receive a lead. So how that works? Here you can see that in this campaign, we have 98 leads. You can click on this campaign, go to the ads section and then download things. Or if you want, you can use a CRM known as Prepare. I will put the link in the description box about this Prepare CRM. Even if you want, I can create a detailed five to six videos on Prepare CRM, how you can use that to leverage your, uh, how to get a consistent quality leads properly delivered to you directly. So you don't need to go and download all these things directly. You can use a Prepare CRM and that works for you. So I hope you understand this whole concept of Facebook ads. I just give you the basic idea how the things work because I don't want you to get confused with a lot of things. I want you to focus on very simple, very basic and very easy stuff. Don't make things complicated, make it simple. And simple things are not easy. You need to take care of them. I hope you understand my point. Let me know if you have any kind of queries. Feel free to reach out to me if you are interested in working with us. I won't pressurize you to buy my program or buy my service. I just want to genuinely help you out with through your program. That's all. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.